Titan Tower already. World record. Well, world, world record incoming. Hello, everybody. This is Retro Reviver, and welcome to episode 6 of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 2 Cycle Challenge. Previously, we did everything necessary before Snowhead in. Um. In the mountain and Goron villages. And in this episode, as you can see, we are descending Stone Tower. We are going to go to the Ikana Graveyard. But before we do that, we either make a short pit stop to the Ikana Canyon Fairy Fountain to get some uh, heals. To get healed. Also, this this very texture it looks really, really weird. It looks like something you find on like um Microsoft Word clip art. You know that thing like everyone using in primary school would be called a lot of like it was like really nice and it would call those pictures because you didn't know how to insert pictures from um Google or anything yet. In any case, we are going to go now descend Ikana Canyon because. We need to get to the kind of graveyard. But on the way there, we're going to make a short pit stop again. Because as you can see, we are equipping the Lens of Truth and the Red Potion we bought at the end of last episode. As anyone can guess, we are going to get the Stone Mask, which is actually found in this area. Now, because I'm very um good at reading the blue button, I didn't know when to talk. Cause like most of the time, it's like either picking up a rock or curling into a wall. But that's that. And this is the stone mask. Basically, what the stone, mon mo stone mask does is like make us become invisible. It helps like in two primary areas. The first area is in the pirate's fortress, and the second area is in um, one room in the stone tower temple. It's like a room with like a bunch of mirrors where you're supposed to like direct the light to the um light block at the end. But in any case that is no longer important since we are at the Ikana graveyard. Now we are here for two reasons. Well, one because it's actually um very important we do something here then on the ninth of the first day. And so we are going to get the captain's hat. Because the captain's hat will actually let us open the grave to the Song of Storms on the night of the first day. Even though we're not going to get it now because we need fire arrows, which we will get later on. But it's a necessary step. Now we want to catch up to this um, giant um, skull and oh there we go. So we could do we could do something I completely forgot about, which was um use the, the uh, jump attack stick, um Deku stick, but I didn't think of it at the time, so I was just like using the uh, Goron um, punch. Actually, I think Grom Punch actually may be stronger than uh, Deku Stick. I'm not really sure. I'll do my research on it later on then. 
wouldn't be surprised if Deku's Deku do her strongest anyway, and that is Captain Keita downed. Now getting like a bit of backstory with Captain Keita and how he used to command the Ikana, um, the army of Ikana. And in, um, but the thing is with the, uh, how put it, with the, because Ikana was in a war, like, um, before this game, but no one has told Ikana that the war has ended, so Captain Kita asks Link to take on his, um, to take on his command and, like, tell them that, um, the war has ended. And that's the captain's hat in that chest. Most people just use a hook shot to get to it, but I just do this because I don't have the hook shot. Now we're going to just be using this mask once. Then never again, I guess technically twice. Because we do um replace it somehow. And I'll get into how we replace it uh later on. Now as you can see, like there are now children everywhere. On my, on the night of the foot on every night of every day there will be spell children guiding these graves. Because, um, well, rather they'll just be stealth children in the graveyard generally. Because that's when the, um, ghosts come out to, um, or deny or something, according to Dante. Now, we're not gonna go in there, yes. Like I said earlier in the video, we need fire arrows to get to the Song of Storms, which is in that hole. And we don't have fire arrows yet. I think here, I'm not even sure what I was doing, I think I'm just like scrolling through my rounds, because I had like um, my round next to me while I was going through this, which I eventually diverged from, but here we are, we're going to select, huh? oh, take head the head off, okay, we're going to be putting on the bums, bum shoes, and the ocarina, so yeah, don't select near on the world map or anything, we're going to be Choosing Clock Town. How is it called? You got Clock Town on the um on the map of screen will send us to Milk Road, which actually really isn't even far from a Clock Town, but no complaints. <laughs> In any case. We are now at Milk Road. Now, until the third day, that this giant boulder is um, blocking the road, unless you get a powder cake, which um, removes it. So, and we want to get into our money range, so we have to get over the boulder. So what we do is we do some infinite bomb jumping to get us on this ledge here. And that was dumb because, well, yeah. When you're too close to a wall, bomb chews actually just climb up that wall. They won't explode when you want them to. Now this part is just, it's strangely enough, is solid, but the wall next to it isn't, so you can like just jump around it and stuff. So we just do some more bomb jumping. Like behind us, and here we are. <laughs> yeah, I think that's like making extra, extra sure that like everything is um well working. But now we are in Romani Ranch, regardless.
So, in Ramani Ranch at 4 o'clock, there. Is it 4? No, 2.30 a.m. in game, ghosts appear, or aliens or whatever appear to, um, take the cows or something. For some reason, I don't even know why. So we just let, we use some temporarily put this on the time back, put the um flow of time back to the normal speed, so we can have like all the ghosts appear without wasting too much time or anything. I mean, it really wouldn't matter since this entire game is depending around dependent. Well, this entire run is dependent around the um, in-game clock, but I digress. Anyway, as you can see, we have like a lot of time left before the, um, ghosts appear. So, now Goron Link is going to be demonstrating his, um, how he can roll around at the speed of sound. With, uh, no, 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 I can't even, can't even remember the lyrics right now, um, rolling around the speed of sound, got no place to go, gotta follow my rainbow, can't stick around, gotta keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead is only one way to find out. Must keep on moving ahead. No time to... F yeah, I can't remember it. It's actually been like a while since I heard it at Tempton City. But this is actually like the only thing I was um, installing for time for. Which was seeing Epona. Now, despite seeing Epona, we really don't care about Epona. We didn't even get Epona's song. If we wanted a pony, we would actually come here at the dawn of the first day, probably. Since it isn't really... Actually, no, I would have probably come here after Woodfall, because like all the, um, bomb jumping stuff. Not to mention I have the, uh, Storm so I wouldn't be hard to. But this just shows how much I care about a pony, because I really don't care about a pony. In any case, we will be taking on the aliens at 2.30 a.m. So, in that time, Gorling's gonna be like rolling around and stuff. So I will cut when it is 2.30 a.m. in game time. Well, cut to that point. See you in like a second. Alright, it is 2 a.m. I just realized the mic got like really close to my mouth, don't even know how. Anyway, as you can see there, I was like just doing back jumps against the opponent events. I was trying to do a, a trick called a gainer. It basically gives you a more, um, thing. More high flu backflip. But nonetheless, the aliens have arrived. Now, this would actually be like a million times easier if we had a map. But since we don't, I really, um, I have to be like, extremely cautious of everything. As you can see, I'm just like, swinging around my sword in this box. I am the most cautious I've ever been. So we've got like, gonna spin around a lot. And now I'm gonna start killing the aliens. Cause we don't want them to get the cows, because from this side quest, we get a bottle as an item. That bottle has milk in it, and well, we need milk for a later part of the game. And if we don't have a opponent song, we cannot get milk any other way. And since we did skip a opponent song, we have to get milk. So how do we get milk? I decided we should just like route this side quest into the main game, since this is one of the best side quests. I cannot aim for shit, can I? GameCube controller, please just give me one. Because I was using a 64 controller while recording this one thing on an emulator because I have a 64 to control to game 64 to GameCube, yes. Because I have a 64 to PC controller adapter. And the cutscene cutscene. The side quest will be ending soon. Yeah, these guys are like too close for comfort.
force I missed. Okay, um, the cycle is going to end like a few seconds. I don't even have to shoot anything else. Dun 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 Now from um, Romani I'll actually have to say Mel on there From Romani she actually gives us the milk bottle that we want But now we're gonna do Now we're gonna slow down the um, flow of time And then from that I want to be cutting off here because we are going to be do doing something else completely different in the next episode. Because, you know, like actual main story stuff. But in any case, I am Retro Reviver, signing out. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.